All right, David Harry here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get a 120 degree field of view for Warzone Mobile on an Android device. Now, for this particular example, I'm going to be using a Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. However, what I do in this video, you can just do the exact same thing on nearly enough any Android device, so it will work on any of them. Now, what I'm going to do is just quickly show you two things. So so right now, what we are looking at is what Warzone Mobile looks like in 90 degrees field of view. So this is the standard maximum field of view that we get within the game. Now what we are looking at is the modified config file, which gives us the 120 degree field of view. And as we can see, that is quite substantially wider. Now on the screen right now, what we can see are the 90 degree and the 120 degree fields of view. So we can see exactly what that difference is between the two of them. Now, just a couple of quick things before I dive into this how-to guide. And the first thing here is really important. So what we do here, is essentially replace one of the system config files with something else. Now, this something else that we put in, it doesn't last when you like exit the game. So unfortunately, you have to do this every single time before you launch the game. What happens is, is when the game exits or when you like, you know, you close down the game and stuff, or if indeed you switch off your phone or your tablet or whatever you've got this on, what will happen is the next time that Warzone Mobile kind of boots up and stuff, it will rewrite the config file to the basic settings. So like I say, we have to do this each time before we launch the game. And the second thing is, if you are interested in watching Warzone Mobile gameplay, then check out my YouTube gaming channel. You can get to that by going to www.thegamething.com and there'll also be like the usual links in like the description and whatnot here. Now on that channel, Channel, you will already find a load of Warzone Mobile gameplay which has been done on the likes of the S23 Ultra, the iPhone 15 Pro Max, iPad Pros and various other things. However, I will be doing a lot more stuff on that channel to do with pure gameplay on the S24 Ultra as well. Anyways, let me get into this tutorial and I will end the video with some gameplay with the 120 degree field of view on the S24 Ultra. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is to have a file manager or file browser which is capable of reading the Android folder. Now there is one that I'm going to recommend and I will show you this now. So if we go to the Google Play Store and then if we type in CX File Explorer, so CX and there we go to come up there. So CX File Explorer. So we'll tap on that. And then we will install CX File Explorer. I'll do all this in real time because it's going to be quick to download. There we go. Now what I'm going to do first of all is just go into the file browser. So I'm going to open the file browser here. Now what we need to do is give it permissions. So let's say yes here. We'll also say yes here. And then allow permissions there. And then allow. And then what we should have now is the ability to read into the Android folder. So I'm just going to go into main storage here. And then we've got Android here. So I'll tap on that. And then we need to go into data. So I'll tap onto that. Now, if you have a message come up and say it needs to like access that folder, grant the permissions. What it is, I've already had this file browser on my phone, so I've already given it the permissions in the past, you see. But it's likely to ask you to say yes, so we can go into the Android data folder. Now, once we're in here, we're going to find the folder for Call of Duty Warzone here. Now, if I just go into here, oh, here we go. There's the permission that I was talking about. So permission settings, what we need to do is click OK to that and then tap on use this folder, then click on allow, and then we can tap on here. And as we can see, this is now the directory with all the files in for Warzone Mobile. 
Now, if I just come down here and we should find a file here that says settings.3.cod22. Now, this is actually the configuration file and this is the file that we're going to replace. Now, what it is, there will be a link either in the first pinned comment to this video or in the video description and it will take you to where you can download this file. So what you need to do is follow that link download this file and it will download to your downloads folder on your phone or your tablet so what i'm going to do is go back here so i'll go right the way back to the root now i've already downloaded it and it is in my downloads folder here so if i click in here there's the file so don't forget this is the altered configuration file or config file so this is the one that will allow us to get the 120 degrees field of view and like i've just said there will be a link you click on that link and then it will download to your downloads folder so what we're going to do here is let's just tap on the side there and i'm going to do copy so i'm going to copy that file then i'm going to go back here then what i'm going to do is go back to main storage go back to android here and then go back into data then go back into the call of duty warzone folder here and then tap into the files there and then as we can see this is where all those root files are so what we're going to do now is click on paste and then we're going to say overwrite okay so now what's happened that file that we've just dragged in which is this one here which is the 120 degree field of view config file that has now overwritten the previous file now just a quick note here you may have seen some people doing tutorials on how to do this and they tell you to back up the original file there is absolutely no need to do that because as i've already said what happens is when you exit the program the warzone mobile app will actually rewrite the config file so you could even delete that file from here and then the next time you open it up it's going to have a file in here which has got that name in because like i've just said warzone mobile will just rewrite that file and that is the reason why we have to copy the modified file each time before we start warzone mobile so right now this is all cool here so what i'm going to do is come back here i'm going to come right back out again in fact let me just exit all that there so let me close that down i'll close that down let me just come out of a bunch of these things here okay so what i'm going to do now i'm going to go into warzone mobile now okay so the first thing that i'm going to do is make sure that my vpn is on so there we go i'm connected to germany i will have already have said this before but i basically get the best experience for my vpn using express vpn i'm in the uk and i'm using the german servers and it's basically the best route for me to get into the beta for warzone mobile now i'm not saying that it's going to be the best for everybody else but i would imagine at least in the uk this is a good option so anyway i'm connected here so now what I'm going to do is go to my gaming hub and I will launch Call of Duty here. Now what I'm going to do is do all this in real time and it's just so that you can see that once I go into the game we're definitely into 120 degrees field of view. Okay, so if you just bear with us for a little bit here. This is a little bit boring, it's just that I've got to let it go in in real time just so that you can see exactly what's going on and so that you know that it's definitely happening. So what I'm going to do here is click on the X. Now I'm just going to go in and have a game of... Well, actually, I can't even press that with my mouse. Give me a second. Right, what it is with certain applications, you can't use mouse and keyboard over the top. So that's the reason why I've just had to go back to touch on the phone. Right, so what I'm going to do here is go to multiplayer. And then I will select mosh pit there. In fact, if you give me one moment, let me just plug my controller in. I'm using a PS5 controller. I've just plugged it in give me a moment there we go controller connected right so i'm going to click on play here now i won't start talking all the way through this game or anything i'm just only going to talk up to the point where we get into it just so that you can see that we're definitely at 120 degrees now what i'll do if this throws me into like a partial game i'll go into the partial game quickly just so that you can see the 120 degrees then i'll come back out and then i'll find like a full game because 
because there's no way I'm playing a partial game after doing this tutorial. I want to play a full game. Okay. I see that ping there is looking a bit high at the moment. Uh, maybe the servers are getting battered. Who knows? Okay, I'm just padding this out for time here because, like I say, I do want to do this all in real time just so that you can see exactly what's going on and you can see that, like, you know, nothing's being messed or anything like that. Okay, so we're almost there nearly. Oh, come on. <laughs> this is dead boring. Right, okay. Let's just see what goes on here. Okay, it is a full game, and as we can see, look at that, there we go, there is the 120 degree field of view. Right, so I'm going to shut up now, put my headphones on and get into this game. Kill confirmed. Eliminate targets and secure their tags to win. Covering you. Confirmed. 